I had the evening shifts, going through notes and screenplays with Harvey. One night we were working, and he kept trying to touch me. I didn't want to make him angry. He's a very big man. I kept trying to get back to the notes, and that went on for a few hours, just trying to avoid him. How did you do that? I would just fight him off. I'd worn two pairs of tights to buy me some time if I ever needed it. But finally, he held me down. Not forcefully, but like it was a game. Then he parted my legs and he said, please, just one thrust and it'll all be over. I got away. I was traumatized. I was a Christian. I was still with my first boyfriend. And you shared this with Zelda? Zelda was completely enraged and very brave in facing him. We both resigned. But I couldn't get a new job after leaving Miramax. Everyone kept saying if I worked for Harvey, why would I leave? The NDA that we signed, it stipulated that if I ever had trouble getting a job in film again, I was to go back to Harvey or his lawyer, Hutensky, for help. I asked them for a reference, and Hutensky kept repeating. What, what was he saying? how much Harvey valued me. We agreed I would return to Miramax under strict conditions. So I signed for Hong Kong. I thought it would be far enough away. I thought I would be okay. But it was horrible. I was a mess. I felt incredibly alone. I couldn't tell anyone about it, and the isolation just hit into me. One day I disappeared from work. I wanted to be dead. I didn't know how to be how to keep going, living with it. I tried to kill myself, but I didn't know how. I felt I failed at even that. <laughs> 